Hi, we are going to talk about bond properties. So I set up my table here. We're going to talk about single, double, and triple bonds. And these are covalent bonds, the sharing of electrons. A single bond, our symbol is the dash. Remember that means that two electrons are being shared. The double bond, two dashes, which means of course, four electrons are being shared. And the triple bond is three dashes, which is six electrons being shared. As a reminder, each dash indicates two electrons being shared. Okay, bond order. This is a convention that we've created. It's just a number that we've given to the bonds. So we say that the bond order of a single bond is one. The bond order of the double bond is two, and the bond order of the triple bond is a three. Now let's talk about length. Okay. You'll recall that when those electrons share, really what's happening um, is that the electrons from one atom are attracted to the nucleus of the opposite atom. And the electrons from this atom are attracted to the nucleus of the opposite atom. Um, that having been said, the more electrons that are being shared, the closer that these um, electrons will attract and pull, the smaller the bond length. Um, so, for the single bond, this is the longest bond because you only have two electrons sharing, attracting to those opposite nuclei. And the triple bond is going to be the shortest, uh, the shortest out of all of them. And then double bond, that hits somewhere in the middle. Um, strength. So following that same logic, um, it, it um, is obvious that the triple bond is going to be the strongest. You have six electrons that are sharing between those two atoms. So it's going to take a significant amount of energy to pull those two atoms apart. Um, so we're going to have the strongest as the triple. And you can answer this. The um, single bond is going to be the weakest. Now, we do have something tied, um, energy, that we can figure out how much energy it takes to break a single, double, triple bond. We actually have tables for this. It's called a bond dissociation energy. So bond this um, force that holds two atoms together, dissociation, that's going to be to break apart an energy, the energy to break apart a bond. Uh, looking at what we have here, I'm sure you've already filled in the table. Um, the greatest bond dissociation energy is going to be the triple bond. So this will have the highest, the highest value. So maybe that would be like 800 kilojoules, whereas a single bond uh, is going to be the lowest value. And it depends on what the two atoms are. I'm just going to throw it out there. Maybe this would only be 200 kilojoules. So there is a brief, very succinct overview on bond properties. Good work and have a nice day.